In this video I shall demonstrate the usage of Arduino tabs and code spilting. For demonstration I'm using the combination of following sensors with one single sketch. HCSR04, LM35, PIR sensor. And sketch consists of following code. For output display I'm using 16x2 LCD in this sketch. In this section of the sketch, I have set different variables for my sensors. In the setup function this is a starting display code which will start at the beginning of the program. The following code in the setup function is the setup of all three sensors that contain their support display and pin mode configuration. This code in the loop function is the main running code of the three sensors. So this is the whole code of my example sketch, and I will split this code, and use it in a different Arduino IDE tabs, but before that I will test this code. For the purpose of testing I will use the ProTuse simulation software. Now we split this code into multiple tabs, for output displaying purpose I will use Dell CD library, which same as we have use in our example program. In the setup function these code lines are used in the starting of our program which display the title. Now I have make a new tab, and give the name HCSR04. Next step I have make a class for my HCSR04 sensor. This HCSR04 classes contain the three functions which are setup function, loop function and display function. I have make some private variables also, which only class can use. HC setup function includes input output pin configuration and some variables that can be used outside of the class. HC loop function includes main running code for HCSR04. By following this code the sensor will provide us output. In HC display function, that code help the output to display on the LCD screen. You can see that, I have extract the HCSR04 sensor code from the model sketch, and convert it to the class. Like the HCSR04 sensor, I have also converted the LM35 and PIR sensor code into a class code. And in these classes, I have made three of her functions, including setup function, loop function and display function. The code of all sensors have converted into classes. Now, in our main sketch we will use the functions of all classes. So we have added the all features in main sketch. The all classes that created in different Arduino IDE tabs are useless. We can't use these tabs or the class features. These tabs are typically in O files. And make them to useful we will convert these tabs into header files. After converting we can use them into our sketch. By using header file method we have converted our single sketch into multi-tab sketch. And now we will test this multi-sketch code.
you can download all of these files from the link below to further information and understanding. I hope you now know how to use Arduino IDE tabs and code splitting. If you enjoyed this video please let me know. I would also appreciate your feedback on the content and suggestions for improvement.